right. Anybody has any questions? Feel free to either ask me verbally or if you want to write it on the chat box. Zarathustra, this is Kim Gill. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a dilemma in our household right now. Okay. My step who's living with us recently got tested positive for COVID on Saturday. Who said? Who was that again? Say that again. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear that part. My stepdaughter who's Step living with us. Okay. Okay. Who got COVID? A tested okay. positive side. Okay. From her boyfriend. Right. And now my uh, husband has been showing symptoms since Sunday night, Monday, and he's going to get tested today. And so I will get tested today at two also. How do you, how do you, I, I don't, I haven't had any symptoms. How do you explain, and, and not trying to not to avoid the blame because um, they don't take precaution. They're not courteous. They don't sanitize their hands. Uh, wipe down their phones you know what i mean they just go out go out and not taking precaution i'm a i'm a germ phobic clean freak type person not to not as bad now as before when covid started but i always wash my hands with um you know antibacterial soap i always cleanse my phone every day especially if i do go out um you know how do you explain avoid having to in terms of blaming them for being irresponsible and not being socially responsible and taking precautions of not passing it to others like my husband right now i'm self quarantining myself okay my room is all right quiet. hold on uh kim so it's it so let me just go section by section so it doesn't become a big huge thing and then i i forget what where we're at okay hon Okay. All right. Okie dokie. So, <clears throat> this is an interesting thing. So, I'm not expecting that people live by this or this is this should be their mentality or not. Again, I can only speak of my own mentality, my own understanding, okay? I've had five near-death experiences. In these five near-death experiences, I believe three of them I should have died. And it was almost an impossible situation that I don't know. I mean, I do. It was the grace, Her Majesty, that didn't want me to die. And it just kind of fished me out of it. Obviously, I wasn't supposed to die. When you have these very close events, something snaps inside of you, okay? Something becomes kind of a joke. It's like, I can do all the right things and do all of these things. Wash my hands, clean my heart, da -da 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 -da, put sanitizer, wear the mask, do all of the stuff and I still can get COVID and I can still die. And I can do, I can just not do any of it and I never get COVID and nothing happens. So, this is what snapped inside of me. And what snapped inside of me that it really doesn't matter what I do or what I don't do. The end results are written. It's written. And this is how I see it. I'm not saying, don't take me wrong. I'm not telling you, you should adopt this mentality. I'm not here to tell anybody what to do with their lives. I'm just here to share with everyone how I perceive things and how things happen for me that it expanded my consciousness 
and offering ways that I feel it works for other people. I live in trust. I trust that which has brought me on this planet is going to carry me for as long as I'm supposed to be alive. So when this whole thing started to happen, for me it was like either I can be in extreme fear and panic or worry, okay? Or I can just live my life and trust that whatever wants to happen will happen. And I'm not talking about being reckless because I'm not, I'm not reckless anymore. I have lived my life recklessly and I know what it's like. And I don't feel like doing it anymore. But I realized something much greater than me and my action is actually saving me and carrying me. So I decided that I'm going to trust that force that saved me through five near-death experiences and is going to guide me. So I use my intuition. Is If my intuition, intuitively, I feel like some days I have to be extremely careful and sanitize everything, I do it. And some days, if I don't feel it, I live my life the way I live it. And I move on with my, my life. But I can't tell you what to do or how you should be. My mom, I talk to her every day and it's kind of a routine thing. Every other day she hears a story or she's watching the news and then she goes into the fear and the panic and starts giving me a lecture. Oh, my son, be careful with this disease. Da, 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 da. I mean, it goes into this story. So I have to listen to this whole story. So she tells me her story and then I tell her my story. And my story is that, Mom, everything is written and everything is going to be exactly what God wants it to be. And if I'm meant to get COVID and die from it, since I have no fear of death, I'm okay with that. Because I'm not afraid of death. I'm curious to know what it's like to go on the other side. I don't know if I was of any help to you or not, but that's how I see it. Everybody's going to operate based on their level of consciousness. Now, if they have to get COVID and go through that experience, who am I to hold it back from them? Because if that's not that experience, it would be another disease. It's not just COVID. You can get in a car accident and break your leg, or you can get something else. There's a myriad of different kind of diseases. So if you have to learn something and go through an experience, that's going to happen to you no matter what. So we have no control over these things, Kim. Yes. 